Hello guys, happy full moon and summer solstice. I decided that I wanted to get on here and do a reading real quick to see what the collective energy is at this time for people that resonate with my readings. Um, it's a little late. <laughs> I had my shop open today, had to do some stuff after the shop was open, but I knew I wanted to get out here and do a reading and thankfully I'm out here. It's a little, it's around 11, <laughs> but I finally made it out. So I have my Yule candle here lit. Whoop. And I'm going to, I have this uh, cedar bundle, of course, that I rolled. So we're going to cleanse the energy while I kind of talk about working with the moon cycles and what that entails. So, of course, today is a full moon. But when you're working with the moon cycles, you actually kind of want to take it back to the new moon. The new moon is when... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. The new moon is when you essentially kind of plant your seeds... For the upcoming moon cycle and of course you know the moon's always changing it repeats the cycles so every new moon you kind of get this opportunity to start new with these fresh energies to create new things in your life if you're wanting to manifest things new moons are a great time for that because it's a very creating energy when you get to the end of your moon cycle and you reach the full moon it's essentially where you for one, can kind of reap the benefits of the seeds that you planted during the new moon. And it also is a time where you can release things that no longer serve you from this moon cycle time. And uh, as someone who is a Cancer <laughs> and is ruled by the moon, I can tell you that, you know, energy is always changing and there's always an opportunity to manifest new things and also an opportunity to always let go of stuff that doesn't serve you because I feel like that's just a part of life constantly <laughs> and the moon kind of teaches us that with the fact that it's always going through these same phases so the reading I want to do for the collective is I want to ask what it is that we are letting go of in this full moon cycle and then we'll ask what it is that may be coming in with this new moon that's going to be coming up after this full moon cycle. Before I get started with the reading, I also want to remind everyone that I have an online group ritual that I'll be doing on July 13th. It's a money magic ritual. It's only $20 to have a candle for you placed in the ritual. I got so many ideas about it. I'm so excited. I did a small group ritual last year when I was pregnant and I wanted to do a lot more but as I've said quite a few times my health was not that great while I was pregnant so I didn't really get to go as hard as I wanted to in a lot of things but now that my health is better I have lots of goals and lots of ideas of doing these online group rituals and it's such a great way to utilize a lot of different energies you know when you're doing a group ritual it's not just one person it's all of your energies combined manifesting something I think that's really cool so that is available to book on my website if you guys are interested in that get this candle over here I'm gonna get my cards ready I'm using my traditional tarot deck that I like to use so we're just gonna get into it and see what messages spirit has for anyone that resonates with this collective also just to go over this again i'll probably have to do it every video if you don't know what a general collective reading is basically it means that i am just asking spirit to pick up pick excuse me <laughs> to pick up on whatever energy that it feels is most important to convey at this time and so if you resonate with that you may find that as you're listening to this reading the things i'm saying really sound like your situation and things you're going through um that probably means that this is resonating with your energy if you find yourself listening to this video and feeling like you're having to try and force these messages to fit with your situation and this is probably not your reading. It doesn't mean that I won't pick up on your energy in the next collective reading I do. It just may mean that yours is not the one that I picked up on today. So we're going to ask Spirit for this general collective that I am reading tonight. What 
is this collective letting go of? What is this collective letting go of with these full moon energies? Okay. First card here is the world. Now this is about completing something in our life, something coming full circle. So very, uh, I guess, accurate for a... <laughs> asking about a full moon like what we're letting go of what we're completing energy here because that's very much what the world speaks of so I definitely feel with that card being the first one that comes out whatever energy this picks up on further unless I get another card that tells me something different this leads me to believe that this is definitely an energy that we have completed within the cycle and are cycling out essentially let's see what else comes through though Alright, we have the Two of Swords. This is about indecision. With this card here, you can see that this person has a blindfold over their eyes. And so it also speaks of feeling like we can't fully see a situation or, you know, just something in our lives. We're not getting the full picture and it's making it hard for us to decide where to go next or what type of choice to make because everything feels kind of up in the air there's not there's not a lot to go off of to make a decision because the full situation is not in view i got more than one card so i'm going to put that up what else spirit what are we letting go of this golden energy interesting we have the moon in reverse the moon it's such a perfect card to go with the Two of Swords, especially in reverse. The moon upright is about things being hidden. So like when you pull the sun, it's about things being uh, illuminated, right? Light shining down, which it has a lot of meanings, mostly, you know, joy, happiness, youthfulness, those type of things. But in this type of way, the way that I'm feeling it, the sun would mean you know being able to see a situation the light being completely shown on a situation with the moon this is saying that there are things that we cannot see there are things that are hidden there is secrecy there may be illusions however this came out in reverse and we're talking about the energy that we're letting go of for this moon cycle so this is telling me that there is something that you have felt like you have not been able to fully see a situation, a relationship, a person, their intention, something. It can resonate for everyone differently. Something has made you feel like you are not able to fully see the big picture and it's left you unable to make a choice about this because you don't feel like you have all the facts to make the choice, right? To make the decision. But with the world coming out, and that's being like a completion of something, I feel like this energy, especially with the moon being in reverse, right? I feel like that's telling you that this energy of not being able to fully see a situation is cycling out. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is clarifying the world card. The Six of Cups represents the past. To me, with the Six of Cups coming out with the world, which is a completion of something, this is further confirmation that whatever you completed is a past energy. It's not something you're going to be currently, it's not something you're going to continue going through as time goes on, right? Like, this, this is becoming a past energy for a reason, because you have successfully done something in order to move into the next cycle. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we have the Fool the two of swords with the fool is the clarifier the fool is a great card most of the time <laughs> as long as it's not an ex excess i believe is the word the fool in this image you can see is someone that is so off in his own world that he's about to just walk right off the edge of this cliff <laughs> um if in excess, if it was too much full energy, it's telling you that you're not paying enough attention to your surroundings and what's going on around you and you're 
getting a little too stuck in La La Land, but that's not the energy I'm getting from this. What I'm getting from this is that the Fool also represents a new beginning. It is the zero card. It's the first card in tarot, right? And it's not a one, it's a zero. It's a complete new beginning. So the fact that this is coming out with the Two of Swords where there's this in indecision and blindfoldedness of not being able to make a decision to move forward, to me this is saying that as this energy shifts and things are no longer being hidden from you, not only are you gonna be able to move away from this energy and leave it in the past with the Six of Cups, but you're also going to have this new beginning coming for you and it can be a new beginning that leaves you feeling just hopeful, um, where you don't feel like you have to care too much about all the other things going on around you, something where you can just really focus on your own life and your own happiness. So, let's see what else. What is this collective letting go of for this full moon? Haha, the chariot. Again, a wonderful card to see with there being stagnant energy. This is clarifying the moon in reverse. The chariot is about moving forward. So, you know, you have all these cards here about feeling like you can't move forward, feeling like you can't make a decision, like you're not fully able to see a situation, to make a decision on how to move forward. And then you have all these other cards that are telling you that energy is being cycled out. It's going to be a past energy. You're moving forward. And you're going to have this beautiful new beginning here with the full card. So that's awesome. I love that. So if you've been in going through some cycle in your life where you're just like, I need to move forward. I need to make a decision. But I don't know what decision to make. I don't know how to move forward. What I'm hearing from spirit is you're going to be receiving answers. You're going to be receiving insight that's going to help you feel like the blindfold is coming off so you can finally make a decision to achieve your new beginning and to move forward in your life instead of feeling stuck and feeling like you don't know which way to go. Um, the moon can also represent intuition. The moon is associated with, of course, cancers, um, water signs, the moon is it can also be a very intuitive energy so what i'm getting from that is like i think the universe is working in your favor regardless but i also think that this is a a clarification from spirit that you also need to tune into your intuition and by doing that it's going to be another factor that helps you move forward because you have an inner voice that is here to help you all right so since we got that as the energy you are releasing, which is beautiful, we are going to ask then the energy you are moving into, since you're obviously moving forward into new energy. So with this upcoming new moon that we're going to be moving into after this full moon, and we also have the summer solstice, which is another, you know, time of change. We're moving into a new season. Um, so what is the energy that you're going to be moving forward into as you step out of this old energy. What is this new energy that you're going to be moving into? Okay. Ah, the Magician. This is awesome. Love this for you. The Magician is the Master Manifester card. It is someone who is taking their life into their own hands and manifesting and achieving what they want because they have all the tools they need to do so. In this card, oh, so here's another thing that's really cool. You got the full, right? The zero card representing your new beginnings here. This is the next card after the full. This is one, the magician. After the full, after having this new beginning, you're in this energy of being able to manifest your new life for yourself or whatever that is that you're trying to get. So, in this image, he has a wand, a sword, a cup, a pinnacle. That's all the suits in tarot. And that is a representation of the fact that you have all the tools you need to manifest whatever it is you want. This is really a card reminding you that you create your destiny. And I love that because I think there is such powerful energy when we take our fate into our own hands and start creating our own opportunities 
and that could be kind of like some advice for you as well in this situation if you're feeling powerless with this two of swords energy like you don't fully see something you don't know which way to go the spirit is like you have the power to change this you just you have to decide that's what you want to do and do it and then you're going to be able to move forward and you're going to have this new beginning all right let's see what else what is this new energy okay so we have the five of cups We'll get some clarification for this. The Five of Cups talks about regret. It's a card that people call the card of like crying over spilled milk because in this image, you can see that this man is looking down at these cups that have spilled, right? But he's not noticing that there's still two cups behind him that are still standing. So it's kind of a card where our perception is really affecting our lives because there's still something to be hopeful for here but he's focusing on the wrong thing, okay? I feel like with the magician coming out with this, this is spirit's way of saying like, again, how I just said, you have the ability to manifest the life you want for yourself, to take fate into your own hands, if you choose to. So are you going to focus on these missed opportunities or what you perceive as missed opportunities. I don't really think we miss opportunities, but um, are you going to focus on these things that didn't work out or these situations where you feel like you're not able to fully see a situation, you know, where you feel blindfolded to everything? Are you going to focus on all these negatives or are you going to turn around and realize that you still have two cups waiting for you? That you still have the ability to manifest things that are wonderful for you that will let you have new beginnings. Um, I feel like Spirit is saying like, shift your perspective. <laughs> um, look at the good stuff. Don't, don't sit and worry about stuff that hasn't worked out or, you know things that have left you feeling trapped, like you couldn't move forward. I feel like you have this beautiful capacity to be able to finish out this cycle and allow yourself to move forward. But I think this also has a lot to do with how, what you focus on. And I do think, I, I'm a firm believer as well, that what we focus on um, definitely affects a lot of our life because if you're only focused on the bad stuff, that's just all you're going to see. And I say this to someone who <laughs> has had a bad habit of being very cynical. Um, focus on the good stuff. Focus on the things you want to create in your life. Focus on how you can obtain those things, what you can do to get yourself to that point. That's going to help you move forward. That's going to help you have new beginnings. And that's going to give you hope that you can move forward as well. Because that's another thing. If you're focusing on... Uh, how things haven't worked out all these negatives like it's gonna make you feel like like you can't move forward when the reality is that you absolutely can and you have all the tools that you need to do so but you have to shift your perspective to that point let's see what else what new energy is this collective moving into <laughs> look how this one landed <laughs> All right, seven of cups. This is about having a lot of options, okay? What I'm hearing with this, it can represent being a little confused and overwhelmed because you have so many options. And that could be a little bit of it. What I'm hearing overall though, is that as you shift your perspective, as you start taking your life into your own hands, being, you know, the author of your own life, in a sense, you're going to have a lot of opportunities come for you. Because you're going to be, when we push, um, what's a good way to explain this? If we're focused on all the wrong things if we're focused on the negatives if we are just kind of in this down place within ourselves there's a good chance that you can block your blessings from coming to you because even if they came to you if you 
are so hung up on the things that have gone wrong, you may not even be able to comprehend that you have blessings there for you or coming in for you because you're stuck on how things didn't work out. What I'm hearing is that as you shift your perspective, as you become this master manifester, as you become this magician, the master of your own life, and you start making these opportunities for yourself and taking responsibility for your path, you're going to find that there are just suddenly all of these different opportunities that are coming in for you. It could be um, if it's relationships, you could have a lot of different relationship options. If it's career, you can realize that you have a lot of different career options. You know, the more that we focus on our dreams and being our best selves and just working hard at trying to make our lives better for ourselves, we are able to really open doors. And I feel that's the energy I'm hearing is like shift your perspective, be the magician, take control of your life. It's going to open a lot of new doors for you. And you may be a little overwhelmed. There may be a lot of options. And again, you may be kind of like, I don't know which one to choose, but I don't feel like it's going to be necessarily overwhelming in a negative sense. It just may be a lot of possibility coming to you at one time as you clear out this old energy and move into this new empowered energy. That's the word I'm looking for. Empowered. Empower yourself. <laughs> Stop looking at the stuff that didn't work out that doesn't empower you. That does the opposite. You're giving your power away whenever you focus on th on the bad stuff, right? You're not you're not Oh. Come on, train of thought, come back. You are not doing the best that you can for yourself if you just sit and think about, oh, well, when I did this, it didn't work out. So I shouldn't do it at all. I'm just going to be stuck in this sad place within myself. I'm going to just feel regretful and remorseful and be upset that things didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. If you let go of that and you stop giving your power away to that type of energy and you step into your magician energy, then you're going to empower yourself. And when we empower ourselves and we take control of our lives, especially if there's any situations in your life where you are giving your power away to maybe like other people or something, it's going to open doors for you. And it often does. I say that from experience as well. When I started getting myself out of my victim mentality, it was just like doors opening everywhere. Whenever I was stuck in that victim mentality, it was like so much harder, <laughs> so much harder to get to where I wanted to go. But once I started being like, what do I have to lose if I just start trying to take fate into my own hands and, and make opportunities for myself instead of being sad about what I feel like are missed opportunities. Once I did that, it was just as a whole new world. And it's the same thing for anyone else empower yourself that's that's a big one that i'm hearing let's see what else king of swords okay king of swords is <laughs> swords are about thoughts they're about communication clear communication um the king of swords is someone that doesn't really fuck around <laughs> it's someone who's going to come with their truth they're going to come with their boundaries they're going to communicate what they want, what they don't want. The thing you do have to kind of worry about with a, you know, like a king of swords, queen of swords is that it might be a little blunt. Um, might be a little harsh. Some people, if they're, if they're not used to people communicating very directly like that, it can seem a little, a little tense, but this is someone that again, like it's clarifying the magician. This is someone that is putting boundaries is using that sword to cut through deceptions um standing in their truth communicating what they want and what they don't want that's another thing i'm hearing when you're trying to manifest the life that you want for yourself don't focus on the stuff that that didn't make you feel good because when you're trying to manifest stuff if this is your focus and you're feeling regretful and you're feeling remorseful then you are not 
conveying to the universe what it is that you actually want when you are regretful and remorseful. And again, the thing I love about tarot is you can even, you can take the whole spiritual aspect out of this and just look at it in a very, um, you know, just, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's like a psychology type of way. I feel like tarot is very intertwined with psychology. Um, you take the spiritual stuff away just in a very grounded psychology type of sense if you do not focus on stuff that gives you hope to move forward you are gonna have a hard time creating a life for yourself that makes you happy because if you sit and you you just focus on the stuff that makes you feel bad you're just gonna keep feeling bad you're never gonna be able to step out of that energy because that's what your focus is if you focus on the stuff that you want to create that brings you hope and joy and feelings of moving forward and you get clear with yourself and the universe and you come with your boundaries and you come with your truth of what you want and what you don't want that's going to help you be able to create the life you truly want for yourself and i'm also hearing don't be afraid to say no don't be afraid to have boundaries you know if there's any situations in your life where like there's things that you want but there are people that I don't want to say stand in your way that's not what I'm hearing it's more like if there are people who try to walk all over you if there are people who don't respect you who bring you more stuff to feel bad about because you don't have proper boundaries in place with them if they overstep their boundaries with you you have every right to to speak your truth and to to um act on your truth right like you you don't have to allow people to treat you wrong and and that's another thing that i feel like it's saying here with this magician and the king of swords is like you know you're gonna have to find that that sort of truth within you right you're, you're gonna have to get clear with what it is you want and what you don't want and when what you don't want comes knocking you have to have the strength to be the king of swords and say that's not it so you can keep working towards what it is that you want again shifting perspective as well all right what energy is this collective moving into after the full moon into the new moon ten of swords this is clarifying the five of cups and it makes perfect sense to me as i said with the five of cups that is a card of regret remorse crying over spilled milk our perspective not being on the right thing this is the ten of wands this is a card as you can see that this individual is carrying all these heavy wands and he could set them down at any time and be so much lighter and so much happier because he doesn't have to keep holding on to these burdens. But he is choosing to hold on to them and hindering himself from his own progress. The fact that this is clarifying the Five of Cups, I think, is a, <laughs> a perfect card to come through because it's saying, don't hold on to that shit. <laughs> Do not hold on to that shit. Let that shit go. Because if you hold on to that stuff in your past that made you feel that way, that's all you're going to feel. You're not going to be able to step into new energy as long as you're holding on to this shit that does not serve you. Let it go. Set it down. <laughs> I feel that's that message is coming through pretty assertively. <laughs> Let that shit go. So I feel like, we, and again, we do have this the Six of Cups. Um, that was in here previously. I feel like there could be some, whew. whoops, I thought I heard buzzing and I'm terrified of buzzing bugs. Okay. Nope, I'm just, uh, I heard something that wasn't there and it freaked me out. Okay, no, I did hear buzzing. Oh, geez. Well, hopefully it stays away from me. I have the biggest fear of, of stinging bugs. Stay way over there. Okay. Um, gosh. Uh, that broke my train of thought. 
I feel like there is obviously some type of past energy here or maybe current if that's what you're letting go of right now um, of where something didn't work out the way that you might have hoped for it to and that's what's kind of left you in this place of indecisiveness of how to move forward um, not knowing how to to go into this new beginning because there's still something you're hung up on from the past let that shit go and I know that's easier said than done but if you work towards letting it go, if you work towards letting those burdens down, because they're only weighing you down, they're not hurting anyone else, they're just hurting you, um, you're going to be able to move into this really beautiful energy. But this is a process of you healing, of you shifting your perspective, of you releasing things that do not serve you, and you stepping into your power and empowering yourself to create a new beginning. But you can't hold on to the old stuff while you're doing that. Can't do it. I think we're going to get one more card. And then we're about at 30 minutes. So I think I think we about got it for this one, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. Your final card. This is clarifying the Seven of Cups. And I love it. So, like I just said, you work on yourself. You empower yourself. You get these new beginnings. You get to move forward. You get to have this Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of an individual who is empowered being in their own energy. They do not need anyone else to complete them. They do not have to have, um, you know, other people around them. I don't mean that in a bad way. There's nothing wrong with having people around you um, to support you and things like that. But the Nine of Pentacles is very much an independent card. It is a card of someone who has found their power within themselves. You know what I mean? Like it's empowered. It's someone who's independent. It's someone who ha is surrounded by pentacles. They have abundance. They have worked hard to get to where they're at and they are appreciating their own energy and their journey of what has brought them to this point where they feel solid within themselves. They don't need anything else to solidify that feeling within them. They only needed themselves at the end of the day. And I think with all these other cards, that is a, a beautiful message to end this reading on because like I've said, this whole reading, I feel like it's, it's spirit is like, empower yourself, let this shit go. You don't, you don't got to keep this. You don't have to keep thinking about the stuff that hurts you. You don't have to keep holding on to it. Let it go because you have, you have so many beautiful opportunities that want to come in for you. Um, but you, you gotta you gotta go through the healing process you gotta get to a place where you can you can trust in yourself you can trust that you can manifest the life that you want that you can manifest your happiness at the bottom of the deck we also have the ace of wands this is another beautiful card all aces are new beginnings in some way wands to me is a new beginning that's very passionate that you feel very motivated fiery about i feel like this is saying when you get to this point of empowerment and you start having these new beginnings and these new opportunities coming in, it's just going to be like, whew, like there's going to be so much, so much energy surrounding this new beginning for you. And it's going to be something that you're excited about, that you're passionate about with this wands energy. But whew, I don't think there's really anything more I can say. Hopefully I conveyed that well enough to everyone who has been listening um, if this resonated for you, I hope that this gave you some insight. I think this is a really beautiful reading. And if any of you do resonate with this, like, I it just spirits like you, you got it, you can do it. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a lot of changes for the people that resonate with this reading for sure. But it's leading to like these beautiful new beginnings of empowerment and manifesting the life that you truly deserve. You just gotta let that old stuff go. Let the gunk go. Heal it, move on. Once you do that, you're good. And that's not to say that, you know, just because we heal one part of our life, oh, da, da, da. just because we heal one part of our life doesn't mean that we won't ever experience, you know, heartbreak and hurt ever again. But that's the beautiful thing about phases, right? It's kind of going back to the moon phase thing. Uh, life is always changing. There's always new phases, old phases, things changing, things evolving. Um, but for the current energy, there is definitely a message of 
of empowering yourself and moving forward once you start letting go of stuff that doesn't serve you that you've been holding on to for a while. Yay. Okay, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed that reading. I'm wishing you all the best for uh, the summer solstice and this full moon. It's been really nice energy. Um, I'm really excited to get outside and do some flower essence tomorrow with everyone who plans on coming to the workshop. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to go get in bed. I am tired. It is probably like 12 o'clock. <laughs> I appreciate all of you and hopefully I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.